I think I'll hang up my grimoire here before I go totally fruity on you. This is charging and consecrating your tools. Which methods work best for you? And again, I actually kind of answered this in week uh, two. How I consecrate my tools. What I get, will do is cast circle, or I, you know. When I cast circle, this might even be a future question, I don't know. It depends on kind of what I'm doing, what the holiday is, my the visual representation of my bubble. It used to be a bubble. Will change. Now I visualize myself kind of outside the edge of a forest in a clearing. And sometimes it'll be vines, sometimes it might be fire, it all depends what purpose I'm doing, and it'll, you know, come up from the ground and surround me. So I'll do that, invite everybody in, uh, you know, light up my incense, take the cap off the water, uh, like I said before, I don't have like a, <laughs> a flame since it gets kind of <laughs> dangerous with me, I'll have my representation of fire, and then I'll have my, my salt for earth, and I'll go through each element, and uh, you know, I'll consecrate whatever it is I'm consecrating, saying, okay, I do this with this particular thing, this is what I plan on doing with it, yada yada yada, and then go through all four elements and, boom, consecrated item. So, <laughs> uh, it's nothing like too terribly fancy, but it gets the job done. Um, charging my tools is a little different. Um, I usually, the, the thing I think I charge more, most often are like stones. Or, uh, where you go, my <laughs> anxiety pellet, where you go, <laughs> this thing here. Which I have lavender, I have some aquamarine, and I have, um, my lavender. Which really, 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 really helps, and it smells good. So, you know, I'll charge it with like, um, calming, like, purple, things that'll help me with that. So I'll hold it in my hand, and because I'm right-handed, I hold it in my right hand, and I'll visualize, like, the purple or the blue, like, this fuzzy light makes sense. It's not like a sharp light, but it's like a fuzzy light, a warm fuzzy light. I can't... <laughs> however that works. And I might like... It all depends on the need. So I'll hold whatever it is I need to charge, visualize usually the color, and then whatever task I need it to perform. Um, so... And I'll do it right here at Yield Altar of Wonderfulness. So that's pretty much what I do to like charge things. I will hold them, visualize, and then probably state, okay, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> so, <laughs> real fancy here. So, um, now, I d I'm kind of like, if it, I don't know, if it's an actual thing you're going to be using, like a tool, like a pen, or something like that, you consecrate it. But if it's sort of like a decoration, don't, I don't bother. Does that make sense? Mm, let's see. Like this little thing, I don't consecrate it to represent Yule, you know, or like my candles. Um, I think my little bowls I didn't bother. Things that are just sort of... Maybe representative, but... Some, the things that sort of make your altar your altar visually, I might not bother with, but things that I'm actually interfacing with, I might probably doesn't make sense but hey so I, I and I did consecrate the altar itself and cleansed <laughs> so 
uh, I think that was the question that one of the questions I did for the <laughs> I volunteer this year it's like what do you do with something that you've consecrated like my original altar do you unconsecrate it or once you kind of said okay I no longer need it for this purpose it automatically unconsecrates I'm not sure but that's kind of what I do uh, it's, you know, like what works best for me, the simplest, well, like when I'm charging a stone or something, it's usually when I need it, I might not have the time to kind of plan for, okay, I need a stone for like courage. And I, you know, it's one of those things that you're like, well, gee, I think I'm going to be courageous on Tuesday, you know, <laughs> it doesn't quite work that way. So I don't have the time to kind of do a full, you know, full blown ritual, you know, sort of a, you know, sm you know, charge and go type of thing. <laughs> So, the simpler, the more streamlined, the better type of thing for me. Unless, you know, I will have the time and it's for like a wand or something. I will make the time. I won't be like, well, I need it now. And no, it's like, well, I can wait, you know. <laughs> oh, thing I was, another thing, charging things. That's what I do for stones. As far as like charging wands in my holy water, I will charge them over in my little corner that's in front of the window underneath the full moon. So anytime I need like consecrated water, I'll, you know, put the salt in the water and, um, tar tar you know, cards I will get, anything like jewelry, anything like that I will charge under the moon too. So, yes. I almost forgot about that. Sorry. <laughs>